Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw a bishop for a chest set. So if you've been following my other videos, you would have a few pieces already and a board drawn as well. So today I'm going to continue by drawing this piece and it's quite, uh, well, it's basically the same as all the other pieces. It's just a top piece that is different to the rest. So to start with, I'm going to draw the base. And I know this base is 30 millimeters wide as shown by this drawing. So I'm going to draw a line of 30. You go into the line command by going pressing L enter or just choosing one of these commands up top in the draw panel. So that's the first step. Second step is to draw that line going up and it's shown as three millimeters and the next is going to be higher it's going to be two millimeters higher and I know it's a 45 degree angle as shown by this picture so there's your 45 degree angle and you can have that 45 degree angle drawing line if you enable this setting over here the polar tracking setting so you can right click on it and it shows you all the options you have on the degrees you can choose so the next step is to draw this circle the circle right here so i know the height of the circle is going to be 8.97 as shown I'm going to draw a line 8.97 enter and the top you need two points to draw this line so the top one here is shown as a 20 millimeter diameter so that gives me a 10 millimeter from the center so I'm going to use the center as a reference and that point height as the other reference and draw a line of 10 millimeters so then I have my two points needed to draw this arch so the next step is to go into your circle command by hitting c enter then 3p to get a three points you want to use to draw the circle so the first point is the one you have there that is the second point and then the third point is the radius or the diameter of that circle in this case it's going to be 12 millimeters so the next step is to trim away the x extra pieces of that circle by T R enter and trim away the extra pieces and there you have that arch shown there so the next step is from that point is one millimeter straight line up and then you have another line that's going to be two millimeters higher than that so I'm going to start with this one I know it's going to be three higher and I'm going to come across with an eight millimeter line so to get those two points again and eight millimeter line because I have the radius shown here or it's a diameter shown so I need the radius from the center and that's going to be eight millimeters so next is to draw that circle same principle with the three points so one point, the second point, and the diameter of four is the third point. Then you trim away the extra pieces of the line or the circle. And you can delete the extra and you just left with that arch of two of a, of a circle of a radius of two. So the next step is to draw this big arch up here. So you need three points for that as well. And it's easy to get those three points. I'm going to the center. I'm going to draw a line up 31.02. And I come across with a 7.5 line because that's half of this diameter that's shown here. And you're going to circle again. 3p enter for the three points and that's your first point 
there's your second point and the third point is going to be the diameter of 90 because the radius is shown as 45 so then again you trim away the extra piece of the circle with tr enter and trim away that and you can delete the extra piece so the next step is to draw this piece right here before we draw the head piece and as you can see it's shown the height is 3.94 so let's start with that I'm gonna draw from the center so it's 3.94 and then we need to put in a circle or an arch but they give us the two points so as you can see there's a straight piece here so it, the circle doesn't come to that point there so we need two unique points or two new points to draw this arch so we're going to need that point and this diameter point that they've shown there so let's start with the diameter point it's going to be the center of that it's going to be 10 millimeters then the next point is going to be 17 as shown here so we need a radius so half of 17 is going to be 8.5 we draw a line 8.5 enter and there you have two points and a radius as your third point so we're going to circle enter 3p enter use that point use that point and then the radius or the diameter of 2 or the diameter of 4 enter and there you have your three points for the circle and then the same as previously you trim away the extra pieces so as you can see we need to extend this line so I'm just going to click on it and stretch it over until it cuts that circle and trim away the extra piece and you can delete those lines so we're almost done with this just a few more steps so the next step is to draw this piece up here so it's an arch as well so we're going to need three points again so we have this bottom point we're going to need that top point and the diameter or the radius so we can get that top point by going to the center going up 19.06 as stated and coming across with two which is the radius so now we have three points again so we're going to circle three p enter choosing that as a first as a second and then entering the radius or diameter as the th third point so it's 40. then we're going to trim away the extra piece of the circle again So the last piece that's left to draw is the circle on the top and you can see the circle diameter is 5 as stated here and we have a point to move it to. So let's start with drawing the circle, the enter to go into diameter 5 and now I can move this circle to the point in the center. So the center there is 4 as stated here in the drawing and we can move it over that point from center to the top of the center line then you can trim away the extra piece of the circle and there is then we can remove that we can remove all the extra pieces of line because we're going to use the revolve function to draw to turn this 2d profile into a 3d so let's draw the line just to close there and delete the extra lines and we can use this 
to move to the center of the piece because we only need half of the profile of the piece. So before we revolve, I want to draw, as, as seen on this drawing, it doesn't have that gap you usually see on a rook. So in this example, I've already drawn this. So there's no measurements to follow. So I'm just going to draw just before I hit the center or up to the center, draw the bottom and it's a bit smaller at the top and close that and I'll show you why I did that now. So you select all four lines, hit J enter to join, then you can use the extrude function because this is a block now so it will extrude as a block instead of just the faces so I'm gonna move this into the center by getting to that center point there and moving it to the center so all that's left is to revolve these lines or the profile that you've drawn so first select everything hit J enter to join Otherwise, it's going to revolve faces instead of a solid. So you're going to your revolve function, select the profile you've drawn, select the center line, and 360 enter. Now we're going to use the subtract function, solid subtract. So first you select what you want to leave behind, then you select what you want to remove, and it removes it for you. So as you can see you have a very good looking rook that you've just drawn. So if you followed my other videos I've drawn a few pieces and I want to start populating that chessboard with the pieces that I've drawn. So I'm gonna rotate this piece 90 degrees so it's upright then I'm gonna select it Control shift c to copy it with a base point select that bottom circle as a base point and then i'm going to move to my other drawing the chessboard drawing and as you can see i've already populated it with all the other pieces that i've drawn so it's just the king and the queen that's left to draw and then you have a complete chessboard so you can control v to paste that piece that you just copied let's just go back because it's still the default or the previous piece that I've copied so you select that control shift C click on that center point control V to paste that piece so you just have to rotate it and move it into place but as you can see the piece is placed on my chessboard. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.